Hi folks, so it's another stream where we play one of the decks from uh, the Friendly Council episodes and today we have episode 5 for you and this is the deck we are going to play it was provided to us by Steven Patain and it's a Martyr deck that has uh, a couple of interesting mechanics that it does so uh, I know I always say this, but I think I might struggle with this one because it's uh, it's quite uh, heavy with uh, the triggers and the decision points. So we have um, a lot of icon control that we need to do whenever, I guess, uh, it's uh, the most urgent or, or depending on how much gold we have. So we have uh, cards like Dornish Spy and uh, Shadow, City, uh, Shadow City Bastard and we have... Uh, Southern Messenger to return characters uh, to hand once we take their icons and stuff like that. And we also have cards that pull characters into challenges. Uh, so the Fowler Twins, all three copies, and uh, the especially strong attachment Sword of the Morning that I've seen used uh, to great effect in the past. So hopefully we get to draw this. And uh, yeah, it will require uh, some correct sequencing of things uh, to take full advantage of this deck so uh, hopefully I don't play it too badly uh, just to show you the rest of the deck so we have um, economy that is uh, slightly unconventional so Sun Spirit will need to be used if we draw it to get as much gold as possible and uh, some events yeah so how to gain power we have the nuns game which is one way two copies in 75 cards and we have the red wiper who can uh, uh what does he do yeah has renown and can uh let you win unopposed if you can uh, take icons especially mid challenge once they already commit characters that seem like they have icons but then in reality they don't after you take them away so that's uh, that's another way to get some power and um, just controlling the power challenge I guess uh, not to lose it on defense and to try to win it then on attack uh, to swing games we'll see if we need the full 55 minutes here I think uh, it will be important to set uh, the time limit and see how this deck will would have done if it was a proper tournament game mm, and Duran as well I played against him recently and it was a nightmare, but I have never really used him, so this requires uh, correct play as well. So you need to uh, make sure to trigger the action uh, to help you in one challenge, and then also you need to correctly do the reactions after each challenge you lose to uh, yeah, clear your way with the other icons to uh, win some challenges back or to uh, stop yourself losing further challenges. So, yeah, looking forward to this. So, please go easy on me if I make some mistakes uh, in this one. And let's try to get a game. It's a bit quiet today on the Iron Throne, so if we can't get it, then I guess we'll just um, continue another time. But hopefully someone will join. So we'll use the time limit, as I said. No password. Ah, just make sure. People can join. Uh, yeah. I played recently against uh, Martel Kohor deck that also had some of these cards. It was uh, tricky to play. Duran really dominates the challenges phase if you are desperate to win challenges. And uh, of course, Kohor is not limited with that uh, restriction that um, Valyrian still has. It says um, you can only have one copy of each attachment by title. And of course, that's um, that means uh, cards like Attainted and Condemned and Imprisoned, you can only have one. But if uh, you play Kohor or any other agenda, of course, you can uh, have the full set and then suddenly uh, your all your icons might be gone and uh, every character is a potential target for Duran's ability mm. 
Yeah, something else I wanted to uh, mention here. Yeah, of course, um, as uh, we said in the episode, so Night's Watch is uh, the best counter, I guess, because all of their characters, or most of their characters, will have no attachments except weapon, or just plain no attachments, and then, of course, uh, all the negative stuff that uh, you have here, and it, there is quite a bit of it, uh, will not work. You can still use cards that go on your own characters, Sword of the Morning, Venomous Blade, stuff like that, even in theory, Secret Pact could go on your own characters, here it, it cannot, because it says non mortal character, you could put it on your own character just to get some expensive renown, but uh, not in this deck. Hmm, and Patience, that's one to uh, uh, use correctly as well, Let's see if we can uh, manage to do that. Yeah, so it looks like uh, we might have to wait for some time for people to join the game, so I'll be quiet and then just uh, cut this part out for the YouTube video later. And uh, yeah, as always, if you uh, want to play against me, just uh, say so on Discord and I'll reserve one of the games for you. <laughs> Okay, so I have to set up Quentin, which is not great, but I think it's uh, it's a decent hand. I guess when we click down here, we'll see what kind of deck it is. Oh, right, <laughs> by the Danny, so. We'll have to... The problem is, I, I can take icons and stop challenges from being initiated, which stops most of the burn, but uh, how do you win the game with this deck? It uh, seems unlikely, and okay, we'll have... We have to protect the Viper somehow from being burned. He has 5 strength and no obvious way to increase it. Not going to be fun for me, but maybe it works, let's see. Okay, Naval. What survives Naval? So we have. Um, we can just reveal the maiden and just take it on the chin. Uh, or we could go for this with zero, with um, four reserve, I guess. There's some gold at least, or close call. I guess we go with the smith. And try to. Marshal some stuff. Patience. So we have uh, Lingering Venom. How does this work with Danny? It cannot be reduced by card effect, so it will always be 3 strength. And this says. Okay, so if we get 3 tokens, lose 3 challenges, she could be gone. Never mind, <laughs> protected immediately, so whatever I put on her, she's completely fine. Alright, so Water Gardens is already turned on for one. Let's play the other Econ as the highest priority. Nothing I can do to the dragon, I don't think. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I have uh, anything great. I can put this on a, on a character, but it's terminal, so I can't put it on my guys. This guy has no attachments and it won't work on, on Danny, so best I can do is just put it on and and try to draw with it or gain gold. It's it's not brilliant, I'll just play her. <laughs> I 
she won't work I should really uh, yeah, do something to draw a card patience on on Tristan I guess I didn't have any attachments, so I completely forgot that uh, that I could still use the smith after uh, marshalling patience. But I don't think this will call <laughs> the correct card. It's probably expecting uh, Obara to bring something in, but I have nothing. So it doesn't matter. Ah, he calls the thinking, okay. Don't have that. Um... Should we take military since we're low on characters? a good card but doesn't go on Danny with her sweet slip. Okay, so this guy stays standing to play his uh, Dracaris, of course, so yeah, not great. Now, I could return both of these to my hand but uh, it's awkward because of my reserve, so I could play out my uh, Reckless or whatever on the Reducer, uh, draw a card with that, then up to 4 again. Yeah, let's be honest, whatever I do, she just gets uh, she just gets burned, so let's just take Dom. I could try to play out everything. I have, uh, would have five strong characters and then how much can uh, burn really kill off, I guess. <laughs> we would find out pretty quickly. in my claim soak that uh, dies whenever blood of the dragon is revealed which should be soonish I think beguiled <laughs> that's one to keep I think so I have to play out the lingering venom on something and draw a card so hope to get something better so just play it on the reducer Okay, fine, let's get duped Melario and try to keep her out of challenges, of course, if uh, Dragon is now slave is played and then Danny triggers, she just dies anyway. Beguiled will use with the agenda if a card draw or something comes into play. And I guess that's it, we're not using the Viper RB. If I'd used uh, Patience last round, I could have done something else with Tristain. Something to keep an eye on for next round. Uh, 
one counting operator. There could be another one. If that goes through, then Mad King's command will become a great card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not trigger it because uh, there is still another one with an icon, so. Guide, I guess, on this guy could kind of work. So let's not do challenges. We'll let's take the military icons. See what happens. I have some extra gold, but can't play this now. And this will never be a good card, I don't think, against this deck. put anything into challenges, we'll play Mad King's Command, first get the number of cards down to 3, and then we can uh, play around the burn, I think. If I had something with uh, a bit more strength. So that our goal doesn't go to waste, we'll play this on... It's not terminal, is it? So we can put it on Mubara. Get ourselves another card. A bit more strength here. Okay, so we can't win the game by just passing. You can see the, the power is... Um, Mountain here, so I, I think I have to play the Mad King's command. Get the cards down to three, and then force my opponent to play out all the burn. And if they have another counting coppers, that's uh, trouble for me. Hmm. All right. I will keep these three. Ah, sorry, not these three. These, hmm, these two, I guess. Yeah. Attachments help a little bit. Some characters, uh, some burn doesn't work on characters with uh, attachments. I think a dragon is no slave, is one of those. So if I put bodyguard here, she's alright against uh, dragon is no slave at least. Ah. And this guy is the same, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Question is, what do we want in play? Mm, can't afford my Viper, so and this guy doesn't need it, right? 
So we'll play him out. And let's get the bodyguard. Here. Draw card. We'll play the patience. Another attachment. And uh, milk won't help me. So I guess that's all I can do. Three gold left. Enough for any burn. Not sure what the restricted list situation is now, so I think the markets are gone and Danny also, so... Uh, is Danny still on the restricted list with Incinerate, perhaps, so, yeah. No Incinerate, but the other burn events will all work. So three characters will be these three. Uh, let's see what did my opponent choose. So the Danny, Viserion and Drogon makes sense, and of course all the other stuff. Uh, economy, not the the yard and travel, interesting. Okay, so this guy is going anyway. So I guess we just uh, do the ones that are on our characters already, right? These three locations. And the cards in hand. This is uh, tricky. Bara could potentially put in Desert Scavenger, who is actually not that useful. The runs game winning intrigue by five against the burn deck. I don't know how realistic that is, but yeah, I don't think I, I'll keep that. Let's go with this. There's a milk that uh, won't work on anyone at the moment. Okay, now do I have any triggers? Nightmares on a bara. Okay. Fine. Strength six. And still plenty of gold and standing characters to play uh, Dracaris. I can let it go and kill the top right, he can't kill anything. Character without attachments. Yep. Okay. Now, I think doing an Intrigue Challenge is the same as um, uh, it will force the Dracarys out, I think. So, kills Melario. But I think with uh, my opponent down to two cards, it's time to start playing, so let's, uh, let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's fine. That's one down. And let's do military. Force him to defend. That's the second one gone. No more surprises.
and that leaves power. Much not too bad. Worst character is this guy who is duped and can't take my attachments. Just hope there's no counting coppers to follow this up. Now, do I have anything else? Uh, no ambush, really, and my agenda is used, so no. So I guess we go for money and play all that Viper and stuff. Not too bad. I want to see characters now, I don't want a secret burn in hand. <laughs> no luck, okay. Fine, then let's uh, play out our stuff. So, get the reducer. Get the Viper, let's see the gold situation. So one attachment is for free. can draw with this, I think. And we'll use this, get the other two. And I think the bodyguard as well. I'll use that in, in challenges, I guess. Six gold. Could be another dragon. Let's uh, wait for him to come out before I do anything. Challenges back. Okay, so six one surprise card potentially. So he burns one guy, and then I have to claim another. Or I could try to defend, and if this is a uh, some kind of surprise that increases strength, then uh, sad day for me. Problem is, if I defend, then what can I do? I have to do intrigue or power back, and yeah, but intrigue not that strong with this rebuild, so. <laughs> It's just seven, so if this is a zero cost event, and then my strength is reduced to six, and this gets burned, it's a really bad play. Right, and fealty exists as well. <laughs> Okay, which one? Intrigue, keep the cards on two, and get the one for unopposed, or uh, get 
a power challenge or just pass and, and take one for dominance with this guy. It's all decent options, I guess. <laughs> These are not that great, otherwise something better would have happened, I think, this round. So I don't want to, to, to do an intrigue challenge and trade one card for a different one. I think I'll do power because we are uh, behind. No way to increase the strength of my guys once this um, Blood of the Dragon is rebuilt, it will kill two guys. Then I'm under pressure. Let's do exchange. Yep. I'll go first. put the Viper into a challenge, force everything to kneel, even if he gets burned. Or I could uh, try to keep him out this round, then he goes crazy. Uh, and yeah, I have a dupe as well. Would be a shame to have him burned here. Free Sunspear. No way to get a lord, it seems, so I'll trigger it immediately. And <laughs> is there anything that survives? If I play the dupe, so I can claim it and have him survive, and then he dies anyway, it will be a sad day for me, I think. I could play... Uh, the X on uh, this guy. <coughs> Ambush five <laughs> would be nice for Drogon, but I have uh, Missing one, so I need to play a Martel card for free somehow in the challenges phase, which I can't seem to do. So, yeah, perhaps next time we'll just uh, play this and uh, pass, I guess. Maybe, yeah, play the Viper. And hope for the best. My sword of the morning gone. Okay, so the plan to, to just force them to kneel uh, is not happening, so... Never mind then, I guess I just have to pass and not put characters into a challenge this round, and then... Uh, and plots on round 6 and 7. I should have a bit more freedom to do stuff. I wish there was a way to get rid of her. This is a terminal, so if I could somehow trick her into a challenge to, to have her in turn to hand without this. Although what happened to my milk? It's gone already.
Why? Is there anything in hand that can trigger? Is the question. I have attachments on both of my guys. Protects them from dragon is now slave. And they're not in a challenge, so seems like they're not getting burnt. This one I'll let go. And the military, sadly, I let go as well. Dragon can't trigger, so I just take uh, Viper. The Viper is duplicate. Now, hopefully, the Iron Throne will let me do that correctly. Okay. All right. Grab a card. Ten six, so can't do it again. Can do another round like this. We have to go back to doing challenges like we did two rounds ago. <laughs> All of this power basically is from that one round where I could uh, just go for it. And uh, okay, this is good. This is good for me, I think. Um, what's still alive? How many Milarios still? Yeah, again. One already gone, so I guess we go Bara. And now it's a bit of a shame that I'll be losing my my cards because I have the Messenger and uh, Dornish Spy, which would have been nice. Okay, Bodyguard gone. Shame I don't have... Ah, patience wouldn't work with sleep, Sweet Sleep, so... Yeah. Alright, so dupe. Now for locations, I can leave Sun, Spear, Water Gardens, and one of the ports. And I'll need one more character and I'll keep some ambush in hand. I could just go all in on Doran here. Plots at zero, so water gardens won't work. Have four on this and one, so I can ambush the messenger, I guess. But now he is duped, and then he will need to lose an icon for me to do anything. I think that's all I can do. All three characters, uh, the three attachments that I have. And these three. And uh, the two ambush cards. And the last one, this next round, presumably I'll have decent gold. But again, how much can she really do? Keep the ambush and I guess the seal. Uh, 
Okay, if he does a challenge, Doran can take him out. So I could put in the Dornish Spy and take Danny's Intrigue icon. Not enough to do the, the messenger business here. Could have, uh, I guess, uh, done it with Doran if I lose the challenge first, but then I, s I suffer uh, in trick line first as well. Okay, this I can remove, right? So this is not too bad, but the problem is when I strike back and then my characters get Dracarist and uh, I don't um, achieve anything. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have to need Danny? No, okay. Okay, dupes are slightly annoying. So I think we go in trick first, try to minimize the cards in hand that can hurt me. Boom, what was the other one? Beggar King. Just one left. Still a standing Danny. Well, <coughs> it will be the last card if it's the Karis. Okay, that opens him up to uh, the messenger as well, but he has ambush, so it's annoying in either case. And power we do with Doran. Still could get uh, Dracarist. Uh, is there a way to remove her? I don't think there is. So I'll just take it. Still behind, but we are in the game. Now we have to do behest to see what the last plot is, right? Uh, just remind myself, so there was a naval, there was some draw, and the usual suspects. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty late in the game, this siege preparation, so if we could do our damage before that uh, triggers. Could play this this round. It will fill fill up the hand. Uh, of course, mid challenge with the potential burn, so it's not it's not great. And what's my gold situation here for exchange? Not that great. So I think the maiden. Good cards. This cost me five, I have one left if I do this first and gain one gold, won't be enough to play her. So I have to play her and not the seal of the hand, I think. Hmm. 
Arrête. Ok, so he can get removed with Doran if Doran is alive. Four icons left. Let's strike intrigue of Danny. Unfortunately, duped again. I think I can put her in a challenge, so if she gets burned, that's it. One card opens the way for a, uh, for a power challenge, potentially. There we are. Boom, okay. And the other card, not Miss Sunday. So that's pretty decent as well. Okay, so now I'm free to do my stuff. Can we get it on a post? And does it help us win the game? I don't think it helps us win the game. This is my opponent's reset, so I don't really want to return draw one to hand. Okay, does not defend, which helps me a bit. Don't need to trigger my Duran and uh, Sunspe uh, Starfall here. Up to 13. So, okay, I think I let one challenge be initiated before I trigger Doran, right? Okay. With both. Interesting. No more ghoulies and we have a uh, an attachment here, so I could I could let it go even, and then uh, for sure power won't happen because I take an icon. It's a thought, or I defend with this guy, remove this guy, take a power icon here. That also seems like a good option, right? Defend with this guy. Remove him. Win on defense. And take power here. And we go into another round. If I put in seal of the hand and stand the viper, it's going to be Dominus will be tied to bed. Then I won't bother. 
give it as a surprise for next time. Oh, actually, faction card is not. Never mind. Yeah, it clashes with Dorhan, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, we talked ab about that in uh, the episode. It's uh, slightly awkward. So, and I will need to be using Duran now. So what are we getting here now? The Harris. And uh, all the draw in hand. Would love to keep him, he's um, doing a great job here. But I'm so close to winning, I think just if I just put the, the Viper successfully into one challenge, it's a, it's a win. She can uh, trigger this because she's a lady, triggers Sunspear and then puts uh, that messenger in for free. Tricky, but... Okay, so free seal of the hand, grab a gold, play her, get two gold here, we can do this, and I'll use her to put the spy in, I could also just use the ambush and I have the agenda for uh, imprisoned. Okay, he's just going to try to kill the Storm Corvus. He's just going to try to open up the way to kill up some of my characters. Now, if he's protected with attachments, I think he's, he's alright for the moment. before she can trigger fine. Have ambush anyway. He dies, I get my X back, comes in with a messenger, makes it tricky to burn. This one I let go, play the Viper Eyes, see if there's burn. That's just this. So okay, that seems uh, seems like I'm safe now. Is there a dragon? Is uh, no. <laughs> that was a good game. So I go down on power, but then of course he can do a, a challenge back, and I have a ambush here as well, and it's protected from burn and still a, a standing starfall that I really should have uh, already used. Yeah, got a good game. 
the problem is getting the power, of course. You can block a lot of stuff. You can see uh, we've played for 50 minutes almost. Uh, Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, getting the the power attacking into burn is uh, slightly tricky, so you need to do it uh, on the rounds where you are reasonably safe. And I did put some characters into challenge parts, those the carries is out, so luckily I uh, had uh, good economy with this and uh, decent draw with close call and exchange. And yeah, Sunspear definitely is a good card so i won't have those opinions anymore that it sucks it i think it's it it, it does its job in uh, in the right deck yeah now well i consider just uh, just going for uh, the maiden Let's see what uh, time is here. One hour thirty-five. Mm, the first game wasn't really complete, so could have another one if we uh, find an opponent, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I considered um, not defending uh, the military since uh, there is a bodyguard here and uh, the other attachments keep protecting him. So uh, if you just claim the bodyguard and take the risk, he stays in play and then you attack back. Would be difficult if, if I absolutely had to put him into a challenge, of course, and uh, there was burn to get rid of his three power, then uh, the game is... Uh, tricky but if I had other characters like I did with Southern Messenger to attack on the power challenge for the burnout then uh, difficult to stop it I think all right Let's um, let's play another one. Last one. I'll just uh, check if there is anyone. Nope, no volunteers. Okay, so got uh, 
yeah, had a tricky game. It didn't, uh, we didn't play it until the end, but uh, had a tricky game against Three Folk, and I am not very optimistic. So we can't keep this because there's a, yeah, no setup ready. Oh, and I have to set up Hotak to protect myself from March. That's uh, annoying. Okay, this time I'll try to remember if uh, I have the Beguiled and the Sunspit uh, Starfall triggers. It took me, uh, yeah, half a game to, to get the hang of that, so as I predicted before the start. Sorry, Steven, if you're watching this, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. What shall we do? Just go for Late Summer Feast instead of the Maiden and try to <laughs> get stuff into play to stop military. It's difficult to fight for initiative against them. Have you been already dying march to the wall? Okay, let's see what gets marshaled before I do my stuff. There's stealth here as well. Uh. Although, if I did go first in future rounds, sort of the morning to target most of the military icons, those crows. Crow killers, at least, wouldn't be too bad. So, Nymeria and Starfall, for instance, have half a chance of taking all the military icons if uh, nothing much gets marshaled. Although, suffering in trick claim is not fun either. If you get three on that. Uh, again with this goal left. And Kingsguard used, so there must be something, otherwise my opponent would just uh, leave the Kingsguard alone. So get the, that last of the Giants again, I think, on in the challenges phase with Jokan or something. Alright, it is what it is, so get this first. And my Starfall. And uh, the problem is that I don't have gold for another Chud. Four and three here would not be too bad if I just um, play the Fowler Twins and then leave myself the ambush. Question is, can I afford to pass? For instance, if uh, Torment currently with just what is in play attacks and Ariohotok defends and he doesn't have stealth yet, then uh, I can defend it. But if I get mid challenge surprises and have to suffer a three claim, then it's a disaster. All right, uh, can't bring in Nymeria. It's, it's kind of um, settled on uh, surviving without that anyway, so it's not a disaster. Fine, let's uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so if if the Tormund gets... Ah, she gets that. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. So she brings something in. Could try to target her icons, but let's see. 
Watch your brings in. Hopefully not ro rogue wilding. Cool. Survive that. And uh, at the moment I can survive Intrigue as well. Oh, she has stealth. Never mind. Okay. So I could take both of her icons, I guess. Then if uh, it's last of the giants into Jakan Hagar, it's not great for me. Can't wait with the power actually. Well actually might be worth stopping her attacking because of her ability, right? Yeah. Stop her completely. Okay, no more surprises, but I'll be giving some cards away for Late Summer Feast, unfortunately, can be helped. It's no military before there's uh, some ambush drone or something. Okay, so there's uh, quite a difference between the previous game. This time I've survived that round one military and um, I have a lot of claim soak. No protection, of course. Morghulis kills everything, but um, uh, without that, it's difficult to kill off my board here. And Morghulis is not great, obviously, with. Uh, no dupes here either, and uh, economy is slightly <laughs> tricky, there was less of the giants. Um, actually, uh, that, that's not a good play, is it? Never mind, just uh, tie dominance instead. And Kingsguard was used, and two gold left with nothing to do, so I can consider that a good round. Uh, oh, she's standing. How am I tying dominance? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> it's my uh, Baratheon mentality here. Neutralized her, so she's out for dominance as well. No, <laughs> took her icons, but of course she contributes to dominance just fine. Okay, well, not a disaster. Obviously didn't give another card away at least, so less chance, uh, less choice here for my opponent, even though he has to um, discard for reserve. Glad to see these cards gone. And now we can play the Maiden. Hmm. No high claim here. And a good card against uh, Free Folk, Animus Blade.
taxation. Now that could be just the highest gold plotter. It could be um, that my opponent has a bunch of limited stuff here. Yeah. Okay, so it makes sense to use that king's row then if uh, you have taxation in two two locations. <laughs> well, disappointing that I can't get anything with Venom's Blade. Obviously he needs to be kept out of challenges, not sure how to do that exactly. If I, I could target him with Nymeria and uh, Starfall. But then Tormund does a challenge and he is annoying as well. Can't let him uh, intimidate and gain his tokens. And I definitely want to play uh, Sunspear here. That's the thing, so let's do that first, see what, how much gold is left. That's the the first priority I think. So we have four, unfortunately not quite enough, right, to um, to play in Imeria. Mm -hmm. Don't have the right target for Sword of the Morning. So I put it on her. Not the worst card. If I target John, I'm just gonna get power challenge first, right? And if I take her out to put Nymeria in, then I'm I'm losing power with this intimidate guy here. <laughs> Mad King's command against this tree is not going to be fun. Yeah, I need some attachments to put on them to neutralize them. Okay, which one do I want on for myself? I think probably intrigue, right? Attack military as well. And then uh, nothing I could do with the Father Twins because uh, my opponent will just switch the order, I think. If the worst happens here and I suffer to claim military, I have expendable characters, so it's not a, it's not a disaster. And his Viper Eyes will uh, look at the hand now, Hollow Hill this time. So let's see, is it going to be Val into another character, or is it going to be Torment in an attempt to intimidate me? I can understand now why that uh, patience is a good card here, if I put it, for instance, on Ario Hotach. Especially with Ariana as well. I can go crazy with his uh, ability. I have good economy, so Viper and uh, Doran in play with, for instance, Nymeria and, and Mad King's Command. I can, uh, with those three characters, I think I can go against uh, anything my opponent can do and I think these are the three strongest ones apart from probably Rattleshirt so if uh, only I had some 
some of those icon taking uh, attachments to uh, take one or two of them out completely. So here comes the power challenge either to put a character into play or to try to intimidate me or both. It's going to be rogue, rogue wilding, it's uh, Ygritte. So that's uh, that could just trigger here to take my power, I guess. Is there a reason to oppose it? I don't think there is because it forces my opponent to um, intimidate the Fowler twins if he uh, doesn't want to lose power back. If I defend, just to pose, uh, intimidates one of the other two. So let's let it go. We'll trigger his Viper eyes. I don't think we'll get superior claim or anything like that here. If you do, okay, it's fine. If that's one of the three cards, I'm breathing a little easier, I think. Slightly annoying is uh, his ability, because he can then start to manipulate the, the challenge math, which I don't want. And yeah, with um, with Sunspear I actually can even put in Sword of the Morning back, so quite useful. Not this round because everything is already nailed, but having uh, a bit of gold there can be useful. I can let it build even here. I think I, uh, I won't spend any. Just put in my uh, Water Dancer Sword. guy or little guy. This guy can die with uh, Venomous Blade, so yes, it's Varamir. And still, I'll still do a trick challenge as well. So, okay, Free Folk triggers, of course, to take all the power it can, and it will take my uh, Fowler Twin threat. See what um <laughs> let's see what the the play is for uh, the power challenge to be able to do the power challenge if uh, Fowl Twins gets intimidated I would need some luck. I I I have a theoretical play that I can do which is to put in uh, an attachment, use the agenda for draw, and uh, draw something that can be ambushed in with uh, with Sunspear. That would be a, a theoretical possibility, but not realistic. So I guess I won't be getting any power back, but um, it's not too bad, because um, there is no claim soak here. These are all important. Ygritte's going to die, so that's good for me. Not an easy call because um, if depending on the reset, there's a lot of high costers here. So I'm not expecting the Harris, but if there was the Harris as the reset, of course you can um, you can have a think whether uh, it's better to 
to claim John, for instance, or yeah, Val even to keep uh, something that can survive. Okay, so this time I won't be stupid. I'm not winning dominance, whatever I do, right? So let's do. Doesn't matter which character does the intrigue. We know the hand as well. There is a limited card, so if we hit the the chad, that will be preferable. Four, five. <laughs> I can tie dominance if I put it in Sun Spirit and trigger the agenda, but uh, I don't think so. Let's just ambush it and find the card. It's more important. Behind on power, but I think we can probably say that I'm currently winning this game. Now, what do we lose here? But they're all good cards. I'm not. I'm not losing this because it kills the Chad. Sword of the Morning would be nice if I was able to go first. So <laughs> all the characters are pretty nice, and this is repeatable. But I think. I'll <laughs> I think it's the worst card I have. <laughs> uh, this one goes, I guess. And let's go for the gold because we'll put in one of the expensive ones, I guess. Oh, okay. So much for that uh, sort of the morning plan. Okay. And again, I'm playing Valyrian still, and I'm in this position uh, in the marching quest where I have the smith and no attachments. Just using it for the gold somehow. Weird. Dupe is nice, the the icon removal is nice. So not too bad, but I would I would like to stop all the challenges here. Uh, don't want to lose power again. She is quite annoying because she cheats the, the the gold restriction here. There's cards that will be wasted, but not if she brings one in. And yeah, the chat still hasn't entered play, and she will bring him in. So, <laughs> what can you do? I have a free card that I may as well play, but uh, it should go on the Viper, really. Then I'm not not playing her out, which is a shame. Uh, gold, right? Let's see. So four on Sunspear. That's enough for the ambush. This is ambush tree. Yeah. Uh, do I need to kneel the sword? No. That's uh, trivial since reserve is zero, but might as well, right?
Okay. We'll stop John and then see what happens. I have one more trigger, I have Nymeria, but uh, I'm not sure which icon she will she will need yet. It's uh, if it was a super serious game, I could just uh, take a minute here and try to calculate the, the entire sequence, but honestly, can't be bothered. So uh, let's let's see the first challenge. I think I should be able to defend whatever it is, right? And then uh, I'll use Nymeria and the Father Twins on whatever is. Um, whatever is left after that. Free Folk is a um, good starter, but um, can be slow in the late game. The one we built in our uh, Friendly Council episode didn't play John. This is a bit different. But uh, there's always that uh, trick that you can potentially do a well, trick, it's uh, inbuilt in the agenda, of course, you can do somehow do a trick claim power in the late game with the agenda and uh, yeah, that um, that's a big swing so you're never quite safe in a close game, it's kind of like uh, that Martel Trident deck that always can somehow flip into desperate attack and then it's a big swing even though uh, it's behind all game here it's head, in fact, but uh, not on the board state, if I can defend everything. Yeah, well, I could try to target her, but uh, let's see what she does. She's going to bring in the Chad. Hmm, okay. Oh, this is back. Okay, that's one I wasn't counting on. I was thinking the chart will come in. So now that, that's a lot more uh, board state that I was counting on here. So they're doing a power challenge and it's going to be 13 strength. Now even if Nymeria takes an icon, I can't defend it. So I'm going to get uh, intimidated. But I have an icon here and she can take it, so... I think I'm fine to defend it, so that I don't give unopposed away. So that's power gone, there's a one military icon, so I can completely get rid of that, and there's a, a one intrigue icon. Seems like I could defend both. She can bring in that uh, northern, whatever it is, northern refugee, right? Let's not have this. So that would be seven strength. Which I can, yeah, can just about defend if I put in the blade, right? Or no, I can't even defend it, so it's uh, it's annoying. It will be 
This shouldn't have been used. I only had two on my faction card. If I use, if I lose intrigue now. That was uh, the better trigger, I think. Maybe I should have let him do a challenge, just defend it with both of my guys and stop uh, Intrigue. That was the better play. But as I said, <laughs> not really thinking this through. Not that I uh, could play optimally if, even if I wanted to. Well, surely she's going to go for it here. Alright, and she has this as well. Uh, is there any way to take further icons? I am not seeing it. I am losing two cards. Now is she bringing in the chat? She should, right? <laughs> I think she, uh, the chat is probably supposed to come in here. can defend this. So at this point I won't put the blade in because all my cards are pretty good. I defend this. Uh, so what happened with the Intimidate, okay. Yeah, I messed that up, so I defended not to give one opposed away, and then this guy got Intimidate, and then I didn't use uh, Namiria to get the, the power icon, of course, so... That was another smart one for me. Oh, okay, so fine, let's salvage what we can, then. Uh, it's going to be... 10 for dominance. I have. If I do two challenges, I'm losing that that as well. So I can just gain power to. For unopposed. Yeah. Let's do that then. Get my two power. It's gonna finish this uh, 10 2. Uh, manage to kill another character in the process. And then maybe I go for that Mad King's command, right? And then with Nymeria and uh, Sun uh, and Starfall, seems like uh, it would be difficult for me not to control the challenges phase completely. Last minor run. I don't want oops though, so I will need to, if I play the Mad King's Command, I will need to take um, military icons. So, keeping the Fowler Twins, Nymeria and the Viper and these cards in hand don't really help me. Nothing in the dead pile for close call. It's amazing. She is slightly annoying. Maybe I target her instead. 
so that nothing can come into play from hand. Good plot. Okay, I go first for my sword in the morning, right? Well, it's um, 19 minutes left, so we need a few good rounds. This choice doesn't really matter because uh, it's clear that uh, this guy won't uh, survive the falling from favor, so may as well sack him. Jon Snow, okay. Well, if he is not going to be cho uh, chosen, he doesn't have the power icon. Problem is that... Um, Yeah, uh, if even if three characters with the power icon are chosen, the Viper can attack with Sword in the Morning, so this is where it becomes really good. And uh, yeah, in this deck you have to draw it, but in uh, in uh, Kohor you can do a bit of a loop, but um, it's not so easy in Martel, of course, because the costs don't all match up. So Seal of the Hand and, and Sword in the Morning, I guess, match up. In Baratheon, uh, the attachments match up really nicely, and I've even played Greyjoy a bit, and uh, I've enjoyed that. They have uh, Seal of the Hand and uh, Valyrian Steel Armor and uh, Dragon Binder that can be uh, uh, swapped around a bit for the three costs, so that kind of works. It's not brilliant, but it works to some extent. All right, so um, is there anything I can do here? Uh, is the question. Obviously, having Ariane would be nice, but <laughs> sacrificing the Miria just to do Ariane into Melario loop, I guess, probably still worth it, right? Oh, the goal doesn't work out. Ah, uh, the goal doesn't work out, so I can't even do it. Well, in that case, never mind. And we can just be done. I guess I should have, uh, if I'm not keeping one of these cards, I should have just marshaled it to put a gold on Sunspear, because I, I won't be able to use my gold. Alright, so this three, right? My one lone attachment, and I'll choose this three. Seven gold left. Better play, I guess, was to to leave some of those, those cards in hand, but uh, still not great. I'm, I'm winning an intrigue challenge anyway. But uh, yeah, Hollow Hill will help. We'll draw one card.
This game's still going pretty well, despite the result, if time doesn't uh, catch me. I don't think it will. I should be winning my challenges here. To level the score pretty much and then uh, try with one big round. If I could go first, can I? Seems unlikely. Gold is not so healthy, as you can see, could marshal Ariane and I decided to keep water gardens instead of the Close call for five is uh, my best econ exchange, will get me some cards, but um, down to three gold. And this is uh, filling up o okay, but uh, yeah, only works in the challenges phase. Okay, so I guess all the things that do something first. Not getting to them anyway, and uh, if it gets shuffled, it doesn't matter the order I choose. So, what was uh, selected? Tormund, Rogue Wilding, and Val. Yeah, they all have the power icon. Problem is, I would like to win, so let's see what the situation is here. Each defending character with fewer than two challenge icons. Okay, so I take an icon with Nymeria, I take an icon with. Uh, a sun spear. <laughs> yeah. No extra strength, right? So don't need to worry about losing somehow. He's the only one with the military icon so I could try to play around with that somehow. Should I try to win a military with him and then power with a different character so that we don't waste challenges. Not sure if I'm doing the right thing here. So I have to leave the icons so that um, they can uh, defend. Otherwise, they couldn't. Then I need to use Sun Spear. this to take well whichever and I win right rock welding gets claimed And uh, fortunately, I st can't stop her completely, so I have to um, I have to force her into the intrigue challenge here.
not sure if this was the right sequence or doing power first would have been better. Problem is I need to use all of my icon control on the power challenge then. And I'm out of characters. She has the power icon so I can do only do intrigue next and not even do military then which is uh, just awkward. Would be so much better to have Ariana in place while well. And I'm losing dominance. I think two rounds at this pace at best, so... It's tricky. Reminder because uh, I think my opponent is uh, slightly inexperienced here. <laughs> yeah, everyone forgets that. Let's um, give ourselves half a chance of winning initiative, right? We can do the same thing. And um, we have to get an attachment from, surely, from the plot. And if it's uh, like something like an attainted, it will help greatly. Okay. Sneak attack means we have to for sure stop the, the power icons this round. not great, it's gonna give me Dorn, which I can't pay for, or some, well, I have the, the water gardens, it's going to give me some, uh, uh, maybe green blood trader wouldn't be too bad, if it gives me Doran, I can't pay for him, water gardens dupe, also very well, yeah, Sunspear, <laughs> Not brilliant. Oh, would you look at that? Just in time, five plots in the used pile. Okay, so now any calculation about my uh, gold here will have to include my playing the Lions game. Ugh. At least he doesn't have the power icon. <laughs> yeah, great. One one non character for five gold, right? It's brilliant brilliant use of water gardens. Uh, let's got this on the wiper. And uh have all the cards, let's just get gold, see what, what else we can possibly do with this. If I play her, gives me two more gold on Sunspear, so I would have five. <sighs> but he can't trigger, because he doesn't have ambush, I could just search for something as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six gold. One for the runs game, four for this. Then I have potentially three left because uh, Sunspear gets one back. 
This guy costs 4, so not quite enough. But I think I can put him into shadows anyway. one way of doing it, can just uh, use Nameria and uh, Starfall after the challenge is declared, uh, use Tristain to return one of the attacking characters and then uh, defend the challenge against the other one, I should be strong enough right, to defend against force strength or whatever it is. Just need to be careful to keep the runs game because time might expire this round and, and I need to uh, get ahead. The other thing I could do is take the power icons of them and then uh, forces them to do military. I claim my dupes, which doesn't help my opponent or intrigue. Then I can use my tricks to pull off the last game on defense, I guess, even. I think I'll wait. Wait for the challenge, then take icons, use Tristain. Uh, oh, actually, he is a lord, so he, he gets me two gold on Sunspear. So I will have four left. Yeah, not quite enough to, to play Donner Spy and the last game. <laughs> yeah, that should be fine, right? So Oh, what does this say? Four or lower, okay, so she won't be putting John back into play, that would be that would be annoying. <laughs> him boom and the viper can't defend because John had stealth uh fine I have the claim sock characters okay so the dupes and this guy get intimidated and that's my opponent done an attacker. Okay, she's not going to be declared as an attacker because of uh, sneak attack. 
All right. So without the runs game, I actually probably would lose, even if I did three unopposed. Well, if I did three unopposed, then it would be about equal. Okay, but that's fine. She she can't do a challenge, right? Unless I'm missing something. So if I do military, uh, Dormund gets claimed. So I guess I do military with the Viper or with this guy. Okay, I do power with the Viper, then play Dornish Spy to make her contribute no strength. I force her into the challenge with Sword of the Morning. Then I can still do military and I have 6 strength to win Intrigue by 5. can absolutely maximize my... Uh, no, I can't. This is Ambush 4. This is Ambush 4, which means uh, it spends my Doran's game gold. Okay. So without Donish Spy, I guess we put her we pull her into what challenge should we pull her in? Well, the thing is, I can I can just uh, I know that there is John Snow and only one more card, so I could just do the runs game and uh, and renown, and it puts me ahead, right? But um, let's do it properly. I need to trigger this. Let's force her into the. Let's force her into the intrigue. Ugh, that doesn't work. Force her into the power challenge, I guess. Nothing I can do. Have to force her into this power challenge. She has renown. Messed up with my uh, gold too much here. Didn't really have the gold for this time. And for that green blood trader, which, uh, well, to be fair, drew me this, but. So unopposed intrigue with Duran's game and dominance will have to be it. I was hoping to win more cleanly. Got that just in time. Yeah, without that, uh, to win cleanly without the runs game, 
I would just need to use Dornish Spy, take some icons, win, try to win three on post. It would be, uh, it would be possible with Sword of the Morning, but I'm not sure what the result is. To, to see what happens in the last round. I have close call. <laughs> Trigger that. Uh, oh look, he'll go for it. I think if I'd uh, kept a blood orange grow, I was a short one gold for Ariane twice. I think uh, that would have been uh, a better play a few rounds ago. Yeah. And now not doing military. It really hurts if we're playing another round here. At least this guy is dead, so it gets me an, an extra card for close call. like to see who wins. Okay, I, I win if, if we're playing a tournament, but it would be interesting to see if I can close it with my opponent on 12. Still two, choose, two plots to choose from, so if it's, uh, if it's a reset, Alex can delay it here. And close call is not winning initiative, is it? Free folk, okay, some slightly less usual plots here. Hmm, I was going to say March, we haven't seen yet. If it's a reset in March, that would be uh, pretty bad, but okay. So one character for my opponent, and I, I got to keep two, but I have to keep the Viper. Which means these two, right? One of my icon removing cards is gone. And uh, John Snow in hand with the gold to pay for him just about. I've targeted him every single time so far because of his stand, but maybe now with, uh, with since he doesn't have the power icon. Oh, just missed this. Would have been so nice to get five gold. on attachments for some reason in this game. Oh. Okay. He's a bit annoying, so I have to take both of his icons, right? Which means Dornish Spy needs to be played. And uh, I can play Ariane as well. Yep, that's, uh, that's all I have. <laughs> Hmm. 
It's uh, what happened with Jon Snow? Is there another one still in hand? Two mystery cards. Uh, we had a, a rattle shirt trigger, so that was the one for uh, the Hollow Hill. Wonder what she can bring in if she can bring in something to to get past just all of my defenders here, but I don't think that's very likely. After it enters play, so okay. Ariane into Melario would get me more gold on Sunspear. This is uh, a tricky to, to get it right every time, it's very complicated. I have to get the sequence and all the triggers, and I've messed up multiple times in this uh, stream. But definitely, if you play a, a lot with this deck, it looks pretty strong. Tough. Uh, Tough to break it early and uh, definitely uh, def definitely tough in the late game. <laughs> yeah, my opponent. Uh, I had a few misplays, there was that trigger when I, with two claim when I only had two on the faction card targeting uh, Intrigue that round. Maybe would have discarded one more useful card that I had. <laughs> so nice to see new players, I'm guessing new players here uh, playing the game. So uh, uh, we'll leave it here, might chat a bit more, but uh, let's uh, end the stream here. So um, yeah, had fun, we'll have the next episode uh, sometime next week, probably. I won't give you a spoiler which one, uh, which faction it will be, I'm 90% sure, but uh, just in case we uh, do it differently, I don't want to uh, say just yet. But yeah, so uh, uh, some nice games, especially the last two and uh, hope you enjoy this so thanks for joining me this time and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye